The mural and the little free library is dedicated to the people of the community here, the neighborhood here. These are the people we serve. These are the, this is the reason that we are here. Um, so I would love to have had more of them here, but it really doesn't matter. It's not, it's not how many people show up. Uh, it's what we do for the community and how they feel about us. And I think the way they have treated the mural over the last year is kind of emblematic of what they think about us. There's not been a scratch on this mural. Nothing has happened to it. And we are so proud, not of, we're proud not of ourselves, but of the community. Okay, all right, without, I, I do want to, Lydia's gonna introduce a couple of people, but I did want to introduce the, our artist in residence, Allison Nichols. And I'm just gonna tell you one quick thing. We had talked about making this a graffiti mural. You know, the art the uh, art project throughout the city it put up a graffiti mural here. And we are so happy that we did not. Because does everything in the city have to be graffiti? No. Can't we just have some nice artwork? Not exactly. that that's nice, not nice artwork. But can't we have something artwork. as beautiful as this? Yeah. And Allison has represented so many different, different components of the community on this. Allison, thank you so much for, for all your work, all that you did. Wonderful part of the community. <laughs> Allison also did the Little Free Library. All right. uh, Little Free Library is an international organization that provides these boxes to, to people all over the world, really. Uh, they called us and asked us if we wanted one. Of course, we said yes. Uh, they also provide us with all the books that are in there. Um, so this will be this will be uh, hung, it will be set up on the other side of the building, outdoors. 24-7 access, and we're betting that nothing happens to it. Nothing will happen to this. Allison also painted this, she decorated this for us. So again, thank you very much, Allison. All right, again, thank you very much for coming today. Uh, this is a combined effort of our community bikes and Bridges to Wellness, part of Jordan Health Center. Lydia. Um, we are partners with our community bikes, as Dan just said, and what wonderful asset to the community our community bike is. One of our goals in our plan is to promote active transportation in walking and riding your bike. So this is a wonderful kickoff of that. This is a wonderful way to show that partnership, and I'm so happy to see you all out here ready to ride. So um, without any further ado, I would like to introduce Angelica Blake from Joe Robach's office. Thank you. Hi everybody. Um, again, I'm Angelica. I'm a representative from Senator Robach's office. Unfortunately, the senator couldn't be here. He's in Albany, but I'm very happy to be able to be here. I actually grew up in this neighborhood, live around here. This is so beautiful. You know, Senator Robach definitely um, approves of beautifying the neighborhood and the community and making it a better place to be and you know he's the chair of transportation for the state so he's definitely for making the community more walkable and definitely more bikeable so I hope that the weather holds out for us all today and I hope you enjoy your bike rides and thank you for having me. Thank you, Angelica, and we're sorry that we couldn't have Joe here. I know if he could be here, he would. Um, so it's part of Bridges to Wellness, and she was on the planning committee for this beautiful day here. So we we would like to give her an opportunity to speak. Can, can the whole planning committee guys, come up as well? You guys, come to okay. come, Mr. Miller. Come on, get up here. here. Um, we're residents from around this area uh, from Bridges to Wellness, and we sat down and we talked many hours talking about what we wanted our community to look like. We wanted this mirror to reflect what we do and how we live. And you know, one thing about this is just not a mirror or a picture. It reflects a community. It, com it, it reflects people living in a community. How we like, it's now, look at our community. It is clean. 
it's picked up, it's livable, and that's what that's what we like. We like to thank all the volunteers who took out the time to, to paint this and to just uh, come up with the ideals. And we'd like to thank all you for supporting our, our neighborhood. And um, I go to church down here at First Genesis. And you know, the, the people come here and they get their bikes fixed and everything. And then they come down there and we service them down there. And that is what a community does. We nurture, we take care of each other, and we are representing our neighborhood. So we thank you for what you do. And um, this is the rest of the committee, Ms. Peggy and, and, and um, Charles Miller. We thank you. Well, I just want to thank. I just want to be. I just want to thank all of you for just turning out, because it won't be a success without you. So thank you for coming out, and we hope that the ride will not be a washout. Can't ride with you, but I just hope it's right. The CEO of Anthony Jordan Health Center. She is. She is. She took over. I think it's a year ago. And, and, and she's making wonderful changes and she's giving us all support. Um, and so I'd like to introduce Dr. Janice Harper. First of all, I, I apologize. I always like to apologize. Many reasons, no excuses for being late. I'm leaving a meeting. I just want to thank this community and uh, community fights. This is the this is the way I go to work. I I come down um, Hudson and I see folks out here with community fights, and I I know that they're making a difference. But I also learned that Bridges to Wellness is is, is a partnership here, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Community Fights Incorporated for all that you do. That I know you don't have to do, but you do because you care about this community. That's not one of ours. That's not one of ours. I know you guys were good. Know, you were so really good. You know, you're paddling, then all of a sudden you put a motor on it. Uh, let us know what we can do at Jordan. We want to be part of this community. We don't want to be just a, a building on the corner. So I need for you to come to us and say, this is how you can have a bigger impact. Um, thank you. I think I need to bring my bike so we can um, ride one time. All right. Allison. Okay. So we got three scissors. We got four scissors. Just place yourself along the line. Okay. And at the count of three. At the count of three. On the count. Every scissors are ready. One, two, three. Okay, ride people, who wants to go on a bike ride?